good morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name's lisa if you're new around here i've got a new camera today so we're trying it out this is my like out and about vlogging camera i feel like it's gonna be good do you it looks cool it? it actually only tracks me because it's tracking me like i can't turn it to you at the minute you put it on like face tracker so clever. it's quite clever isn't it but i've got to be in the frame but anyway so i'm using this new camera i forgot to bring the little mic that comes with it which is a bit annoying but anyway hopefully you can still hear me lovely so we're actually off to exeter this morning because i'm going to have my invisalign checked out to make sure everything's going well i'm on invisalign a liner number nine now I can't believe i've been i'm on a liner nine what's that mean nine weeks it's longer than nine weeks is because it? i change them every eight days Jeez. and the first ones i left on for two weeks so yeah but we're, we're going really well I thought you'd really done it. well i've got like 20 aligners within this whole first set so i've got another 10 to go basically so that's really good it's going quick my teeth are definitely moving a bit slowly but yeah i'm excited to change to my next aligners your teeth. yeah yeah that's yeah definitely good, yeah i have yeah because i had like little gaps as well and the gaps have like closed up so yeah they're definitely moving which is good i've got 10 more aligners to go and then they basically like rescan your teeth and then see what needs to be done next, but we'll see. But the whole crux for you is wearing them every night, isn't it? Wearing the retainers at night time, yeah, definitely. Because you can be that. a little bit cheeky, can't you? Though? I can. <laughs> so this morning, Mark and I have been out for our couch to 5k run. Yes. This is the first time that I've been back on my proper run in like two weeks because yeah. I had to take two weeks off because I had knee injuries. It wasn't bisitis though, was it? It wasn't. It wasn't bisitis. No, no, I saw the doctor actually. He just thought I'd like done something to my ligaments. Inflamed the ligament. Yeah, so. It was that and also shin splints, I think, because my shins were killing me. But I don't know, I feel like shin splints are meant to last longer, are they? Oh, yeah, maybe, but today you ran longer than you walked, didn't you? That's like a big one, actually, to do, isn't it? Yeah, so you do, like, you walk for five minutes, run for five minutes, walk for two minutes, run sure. for three, walk for two, run for five. It's so easy. it's like 16 minutes running, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 15 minutes walking, isn't it? But I did do it, and I didn't have any pain, so great news that's a good thing isn't it yeah Mark's done like what week are you on seven <laughs> I did a 20 minute run tonight 20 bit. minutes that's crazy and now it's gone back down to 8 minute runs now now it's gone back down to 8 minute runs 8 minute runs yeah but they feel short now because I have to do the 20 minute run do they yeah but I generally when I'm running along I don't think about running if you know what I mean no I try and think about other stuff because then you don't get you through it no you just you're not thinking about it are you you're no just, I don't know it's just so we're it. enjoying it I'm definitely enjoying it. I found the first half a bit harder today. You've come a long way, really, considering the first one was like 90 you seconds. I was literally one dying run, after one minute before. Mm. So to be able to run for five minutes sounds silly, doesn't it? But I'm happy with it's that. It's amazing that the human body, you can like, you can change your fitness level so quick, really. Yeah. Over like four weeks. From... But you really do have to do it gradually, don't you? Because oh, if you God, don't, yeah. then you'll, no, no, you'll no. injure yourself like oh, I did. I've never really done fitness ever, let's be honest. No. I used to be fitter when I played. We did we sport. did like one run before our wedding because we were trying to lose weight for the wedding. <laughs> so we did like one park yeah. run. I never thought I would enjoy running. But I do quite enjoy it. I like this. going out and getting that little buzz. Top. Yeah. It's quite good, isn't it? I love listening to music. It's good, isn't it's it? It's motivational, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? What music do you listen to? Like what kind of music? It's such a I just got on that smart shuffle. Yeah. So it's just random. Yeah. It's never the same tune. I've created like a bit of a playlist, so I quite like it because it's got like a nice beat to every time you run. Yours is like a ministry step. sound, isn't it? No, it's not. All. It's like Ella Henderson's new song. Have you heard her new song? It's quite good. Anyway, I digress. We're talking a lot, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Exeter. We'll go and look around the shops as well if we've got a bit of time. My appointment's at 12, so we might have like an hour to look around the shops. So maybe That's we'll go like to HM. Where we've done well today, though, because like. We didn't have much time, but we still squeezed in the run. We did our run in the morning. That's I like to it. get, I'm a morning person. Oh, well, yeah, I love right. to get things done in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with my walks, I just do them straight away. This lifestyle thing is like actually starting to change now. You know when you, you like say at the beginning of the year, I'm going to do this, going to do that, and you do it for like a week and it's like done. <laughs> a day. Yeah. A day even. But I feel like we're actually, are, we are changing things now. Yeah, generally. And we're sticking with it. I think because we're doing it together, it makes it easier, doesn't it? Oh yeah, because you don't come in like eating a big old sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Tell them the story about that. Oh god, I was on a diet like years and years ago. This Loving is like life. this is in our old house, right? Yeah. And I was on a very strict diet, and uh, <laughs> Mark got like this sandwich from like a sandwich shop. You know those really lovely ones that are, like a doorstop sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? <laughs> Coronation chicken. Chick cheese, but like 
I went into the kitchen <laughs> knowing that you wouldn't. You were in the lounge. Yeah. But you must have like sniffed it or something. Yeah. And then you come out, didn't you? Oh. It was a. Uh, it looks good kill. Oh, I was raging. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? It's alright for you eating that sandwich. Or yeah, it's like alright for you eating that big sandwich like that. I got so <laughs> grumpy. I was in a right mood, wasn't uh, I? Good. I was hungry. It's classic, isn't it? So yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Oh, we're doing it together, aren't we? We're doing it it's together. Harder we're if doing one of it healthy. Eating a big old sandwich, and one of you's not. Isn't it? Oh my god, yeah. But, I mean, we, can, we can still eat sandwiches like that now, but like back then, I was on like a really strict diet, which I wouldn't recommend. It was terrible. No, you um, just got to eat. You just got to be healthy. That's but it. anyway. We're gonna go, we're still talking, why are we still talking? Don't mind your treat though, do we? Do you know what, I'm loving the camera. I feel like it's really easy to like vlog on. Hopefully I'm not like putting my finger over the mic, I don't know where it is. Oh my god. Is it nice? I see I'd like him to go in at the bottom. Oh yeah, but flares are actually back in fashion. Oh, I thought this was active wear. This is active wear. We're in Primark, guys. So much active wear in store. I'm an active wear girly. Yeah, they're nice. I don't know if I could wear shorts running there. Of course you could. I'd love to be like to wear like those fitted things, you know, like these little zip tops and that. Just can't do it yet. It's not really a vibe, is it? Stitch. Andy you like them. Why are they bringing out a new stitch film? This is quite a nice little airport outfit if you're going to Disney. You <laughs> know? True, yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's like comfortable. I want some like big t-shirts, you know, like so I can wear them with my leggings. Yeah. Like green? Green in, is it? Must be. Not for me, that green on me, no. Okay. This is spring fashion. Yeah. Baggy trousers, isn't they, man? Really? Where's skinny jeans? I thought they were all about. You're not really a fan of baggy trousers. Oh, is yeah. um, skinny jeans still a thing? They're huge, aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you like them? Yeah. For real? Wow, really? <laughs> Hello. That's baggy, clown, isn't it? baggy trousers. Yeah, but they'd be really comfy. It's so funny because I remember the baggy. It's very look. like 80s. No, 90s. 90s, yeah. Early 90s. This is cute. We like the pink girly vibes. You like girly. Yeah. yeah. This is nice, like a little holiday dress. It's bedtime, nice tan. Isn't it? It's wearing bed. No, it's not. Well, that's a dress for bed. It's not a bed. It's not a bed dress. Is it not? It's not a nighty. Oh, it's a, it this is just a dress. It looks like a nighty, doesn't it? It's the same like silky vibes, isn't it? Oh, that's such a massive scrunchie. Oh, I do. Look at this. This is for the. Uh, this is by the pool. Your phone, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously, that's what that's for. Tiny. Put your phone in there. Of course. I mean, it looks quite cute, doesn't it? This is the Rita Ora range. She likes baggy trousers. That's the skirt. That's the skirt, yeah. This is a bit, bit of me. <laughs> these little bags are really in at the minute. Look at this, this is cute. shirts. I have seen quite a lot of pink in here now in the shops haven't you? Jeans. I always want to get these but they're that really like non-stretch material even though it's just comfort. They never, um, There's no stretch in those at all. Jeans, no. Always in there. You always need a good pair of jeans. So that's something I'm still yet to master is the jeans, you know? No, none that fit me nicely, you know? None that I none that I love. This is giving like Night of the Museum, you know that lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Amelia Yeah, do you know what I mean? I feel like she would wear that. Yeah, giving pilot. This is like very safari, isn't it? It's quite safari, like um, Shorts. What's the word? Canvas? No. Mm. Like that. Mm. I like a like knitted skirt. Autumnal for me. Though. Very autumnal, isn't it? Transitional, maybe. Baby blue, more pastel. Like the pastels? Yeah, I don't mind them. 
I like Basically. the little light. No, I like that. Do you not like it? With like the matching trousers? Not for me. No. On a holiday? No. <laughs> Definitely not. I like this jacket. A bomber. It's nice. Quilted. It's nice and soft, you know? I like these like little shirts, like little short shirts. Oh, I really want to get a perfume actually. Red Temptation. No, it's not. Ruby Slipper. Where is the actual thing? Over oh, there. Doesn't smell like as no, I remember it. Very, um... Oh, that, that is it. Barely smell it. What? This reminds me of Hannah when we were in Berlin. She had it on and I, all I could smell was the perfume. I actually would like to get that. Do they not have a small one? That's annoying. Someone's opened that to use it as a tester. 25 quid. 22 quid, ain't that? No. Yeah, they're not too bad, are they? This cream trouser. Yeah. Lemon suits we do. Definitely. Baby blue as well. Oh, yeah, you like the split. Yeah. It's early summer, coming to the cricket, watching the boys of an evening, some champagne. So I've just finished off at the dentist. That's quick. That was so quick, wasn't it? They literally just scanned my teeth. Five minutes. Um, and then gave me my new aligners. So I don't have to come back now till June. Wow. The end of June, like 24th of June. The height of Isn't that summer. insane? Just been to the shops. I went to Lush quickly, got some bath bombs for the you boys. Love a pamper. I got some for me as well. I'll show you what I got in a minute when we get home. But we're just gonna go grab some lunch and then drive home. What a busy yeah. day. <laughs> Gotta get the boys in a minute. I know, that's the thing, isn't it? So I haven't been able to eat at home today, so I'm gonna have a smoked ham and cheddar sandwich. Got a meal deal with some crisps. Walker's prawn cocktail. A little Ribena. I'm going home now. Got my lunch in the car. Another little road trip snack. Yeah, I love prawn cocktail flavour. Do you like prawn cocktail? Yeah, yeah I, I like love them. So good. Quite flavoursome, aren't Renzo loves them, Vinny absolutely hates it. I think you can try them if you really like it. Yeah. Okay, so shall we do a little Lush haul? I went into Lush earlier and I thought I would show you a few of the bits that I got. How exciting. This is so exciting. Right, so I did actually get a few bits because they've got some Easter bits out at the moment. So let me show you. I don't know what the names of these are, by the way, but oh my goodness. Look at this little guy. It's a little UFO. Apparently there's something inside. Um... It's a surprise. So I got this one for the boys. I thought I'd get them all one each. So I got that one. It smells amazing, by the way. Next, we got this little one. Oh my goodness. A little chick. So cute. Apparently this one like really crackles in the bath as it like um, dissolves. It smells amazing. Okay, so the first one was called Alien Bunny. The second one I've just shown you then is called Cheap Cheap. <laughs> so cute. I also got this one here which is called Follow the White Rabbit and then it's got this kind of like multicoloured streak through it. How cool is that? They just smell so good. They've got so many great Easter ones in at the minute. So I got those for the boys. They've got one each and then for myself I got for the shower. I have a lot of showers and I don't use many Lush products in the shower but I saw this one. It's called the Sleepy Shower Bomb. So yeah, I'm excited to give that one a little try. It smells so, so good. And then finally, I got three of these. And these are the um, butter, butter ball, I think it's called. This is so good. I absolutely love these. So I got three of these for when I have a little bath. Oh my God, it smells amazing. This one's like vanilla and cocoa butter and it leaves your skin feeling so, so soft. So I got those from Lush today. I am off to get my eyebrows done. I haven't been to my brow lady since last, I feel like towards the end of last summer, I've just been maintaining them myself, but she's recently moved and she lives so much closer to me now. So I thought I would go get my eyebrows done, treat myself, I've just washed my hair. Oh, it feels so much better to wash your hair. The thing is with like the whole running and exercise situation, 
is that you have to wash your hair a little bit more often. I know most people wash their hair daily, but I'm a twice a, twice a week kind of girl when it comes to my hair. So it just looks greasy all the time. <laughs> so it feels good to wash it, although I still need to do my run tomorrow, but anyway. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip gloss on. I've taken my makeup off because when you're having your eyebrows done, you don't want makeup on everywhere. So I thought I'd pop a little bit of gloss on. Stray hair that I can just feel, oh, that's it. Thought I'd pop this on. This is the Rimmel London Thrill Seeker Glassy Gloss in the shade Berry Glace. I really like this. It smells amazing. It's just a nice little gloss, you know? Thought I'd show you a little before of my eyebrows. Probably won't take you with me, but I'll pop on after once I've had them done. But we're in desperate need of some maintenance here. And I'm probably gonna have them like dyed and just shaped a little bit. But yeah, let's go get my eyebrows done. Okay, so I'm back from having my eyebrows done. I didn't really film in there, but you might see a couple of clips of when I had my like eyebrows all like mapped out with where we wanna wax. And then when I had the like tint on my eyebrows as well. So this is what they look like. I'm really happy with them. So nice. So I need to leave my eyebrows now for like 24 hours to let the dye like settle in because it kind of works a bit like a fake tan and like works overnight. So I might put a little bit of makeup on now quickly. I'm just gonna use this actually, the L'Oreal Pre Match Nude. I really love this. I've spoken about it before. It's a really lovely product, very quick and easy to use. I might apply it with this little brush actually, just very lightly on the skin. So I had what is called the hybrid brow done to my eyebrows today. So basically it's like a tint that will dye the hairs on my eyebrows and also tint the skin on my eyebrows. So it will last about, I don't know, three, four weeks possibly. And yeah, this is what it looks like when I first have it done. So it's a little bit darker at first, but I actually really love it and I won't have to touch my eyebrows now. I've just put that little serum on, which is just so nice, really lightweight formula. I like applying it with like a fluffy brush like this, just to kind of make it really light on the skin just super natural so that is what I've got just need a little bit of bronzer I don't know where my usual bronzer has gone so I'm going to use this one this is the Charlotte Tilbury one this one's a little bit dark for me a little bit dark but I'm just going to go in and apply a little bit I'm so glad I washed my hair today like I said I was going to leave it because I'm, I'm meant to be going for my run tomorrow but I don't know, I just can't leave my hair, it was looking gross. It makes me feel so much better when I've got my hair done. So I thought I'll just do it. And I haven't got to think about it too much tomorrow. I'll just put it up when I go for my run. I don't think I'm gonna bother with mascara. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Maybe a little bit of blusher. Should we go with a bit of blusher? I'll tell you what I'm loving at the minute is this Clinique one. Clinique pot blushes. Do you remember these? I remember writing a blog post about these years ago now. Gotta be over 10 years ago, or maybe like, eight years ago when they came out. And this is such a pretty color, look at that. This one is in the shade Peach Pop. That is a bit of me, that. And it's got a nice like kind of shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna apply that really gently, just like a nice natural kind of flush to the cheeks. Yeah, I just like having a bit of blusher on these days. Brings a bit of color to my face. And my lip gloss is downstairs, so I'll put this one on. This one's by Clarins. And it is the Lip Comfort Oil in the shade cherry it never turns out like this dark it looks super scary in the tube but it's actually quite fair, like pale and that's it that's all i'm doing with my face today so that is that i hope you're all well and really enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching my next video is going to be an evening routine because when i last filmed my morning routine lots of you said you would like to see what my evenings look like as well. So I thought I'd film that for you. That will be live on Sunday. So I will see you on Sunday. It'll be going live at 7 a.m. Make sure you're there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.